everyone welcome back to my channel it's Rachel right here and today I have a few diamond art clips to share with you it's a lot <laughs> well it's not a lot a lot it's just I had these I had a sneak peek that I was supposed to show last week but unfortunately it didn't arrive in time for Friday so it's here to share with you all so you can have a first glimpse at it and then I have an order from a while back which was a pre-order so that arrived last week and I thought I'd just put them all together in this video to share with you. So I hope that you enjoy and let's get into it. I just noticed that all three of these kits are round diamond shape. So you can tell by looking at the side of the box, it'll say here round diamonds and it'll have this purple strip around the edge of the box. Uh, they just recently implemented that. So not all of their new ones will have it, but I believe all the pre-orders will. So, and just before we get started, Diamond Art Club is now available at Hobby Lobby, and they'll be opening up in more stores in the United States. So if you live in stateside, uh, they will be available at Hobby Stores very soon, but it's only a select designs as far as I understand it. Um, but they are looking to expand into the market, the retail market. So please bear with them as they make these changes and go from being online only to being both online and in store. Uh, but I hope that if you are looking to purchase them in the store, that you find what you like. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So on Friday, I was supposed to show you all this canvas. This is brand new and it is called Jules and Vern by Micah Jelena. Isn't she beautiful? She is a steampunk girl with an owl. Look at the top hat. Okay, let's get into it. So I hope everybody's having a great day. I am. <laughs> the weather isn't really cooperating with us today. I don't know if you can tell by the reflection in the tabletop, but oh, and I do get asked this quite a lot. Yes, my table is an old door. It's an antique door that I rescued from my brother-in-law when he was demolishing the inside of a house. I was like, no, that door is too cool. So I eventually, for the longest time, I didn't have the plexiglass on the top. I just had uh, the door itself and that was not very practical. But if you are looking to, the box is empty. If you're looking to uh, do this yourself, have a look at my craft room tour part one and you'll see how I've set it up. Anyway, here is the picture. This is a little sticker. You can put it on the outside of the box to help you to identify it. So it says it's a 56 by 56 centimeter or 22 by 22 inch picture. I'm going to show you how this works. The way I stack them in my room, in my shelf, is I lay them on this edge and I use the sticker here where that QR code is and that way I can see it and I stack them up so that I can see the name on this edge and then make more rows. If I can, I'll put a picture in for you, but um, that's how that works. Then I'm going to pop that in the trash. They have this sticker, which is a legend, and that'll tell you all the symbols and the DMC color code that match to the canvas itself. These don't match every canvas from Diamond Art Club. A lot of the more popular symbols, they do keep that. Like 310, 310 I believe is universal against all their canvases, but please don't take my word for it. Um, it just depends on the canvas. It's easier to kit up for each individual diamond painting and then unbox it and re-kit it than it is to, to give yourself a headache that way. Some people choose to kit up with just the the number, the left side number, but I prefer to kit up with this the symbol itself. And then I put it into symbol order. But that's just me and my brain. There's no wrong way. There's no wrong way and there's no diamond painting police. Okay, let's get into this kit, shall we? Um, I'm only going to show one tool kit because I think the vast majority of you probably know what comes in a Diamond Art Club kit. But this is what I got in my kit. I got a blue pen, two plates of wax in heart shape, a squishy, a clear boat with a funnel, and a few baggies. So I think there's three baggies here. It's basic, but it's what you would need to start diamond painting. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, 
So that's the toolkit. Put these to the side. This is our canvas and our drills and my hair. <laughs> Let's get into it, shall we? So soft. Oh, I love it. So they have this velvet tarpaulin canvas, which is really nice because it doesn't crease. And wow. Here are the drills. It has the name of the canvas and then some instructions. If you are new and you need to have a look at that, a look at this. Okay, let me roll her backwards. This will help to flatten the canvas. There's a lot of 310 in this painting. Wow. Okay, here we go. I hope you can see it. With round canvases, I always say that it's hard to see the detail just from looking at the canvas, whereas the square, it's actually easier. I don't know why. <laughs> something to do with the symbols or something. But you can definitely see that she's got this beautiful, like, glass, marble-looking thing. There is a cog here. There's, like, this ribbon along the side. There's some scissors, a key. In her top hat it looks like she might have elf ears it's possible I'm not sure let's let's see does she have elf ears she does she does have elf ears with with little earrings in them cute her monocle double monocle she's got a tattoo here I wonder how that's gonna come out I bet it'll look really cool this little guy so cute a little owl in a vest Oh my goodness. <laughs> she also has wings, you guys. So she's got feathers in her hat, but she also has wings here, which I never noticed before. And she's got some freckles, which I really like. I like that little detail. But this is all based off the original picture, of course. So Micah Jelena did a great job with this artwork, and I think this is just the right size because you need the face to be larger and take up more of the picture in order to get the detail in her eyes. So this is a fantastic size, great size, great choice. I can see in the viewfinder, I can see her kind of leather here, the sleeve. She's got a top with buckles on it. This might not be to your taste, but you know, there are a lot of people out there that are looking for steampunk diamond paintings. And I think this one along with Trixie are really, really nice great to have in the collection. So thank you Diamond Art Club for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. I'm going to show you the drills as well. So get into it. Really nicely packaged and in strands. So let me bring in We've got 310, which is black. So there are two bags of 310. That's it. There might be another bag or two here, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew there would be more. So there are six bags of 310 all together. 5200, which is a stark white. Beautiful. 3371, it's a nice dark brown. 814, garnet, one of my favorites. 939, 3760, 815, 3782, these are so shiny, 3799 is a nice gray color, 640, just like a khaki, 312, 3787, which is an olive green, 775, which is a beautiful mint green, and we got a stowaway in there, we got two, three stowaways in there, they're, they're not quarantining. 841, 3033, 844, lots of muted tones, 644, and here's our first AD, this is 141, it's a beautiful white with that kind of unicorn skin, extra shimmer on it. So if you don't know what AD stands for, it's Aurora Borealis, it's just a special effect on these diamonds, and on other things too, like beads and crystals and things like that in the crafting world. So you may you may know it from another type of craft. 80. 
Next up, we have the smaller bag. So we've got 336, the gorgeous blue, 3861, and 3860. 823, 597, 415, 779, ooh, 3325. That's a beautiful blue. I think that might be in her eyeshadow. 3755, 317, 413, all of these are the grays. 838 is brown. 327 is a gorgeous purple color. Love it. I think, I'm not sure where that is actually. I think it's just in her monocle right there. 3772, 550, my favorite, and Becky's favorite. <laughs> Becky's band is from Crafty. Uh, 436, 208. 210, 209, and 318. So we only have the 180, number 141, and I'm just going to put these back in the bag and I'll show you where they are. Okay, so the number ones, I can see them in the tips of her ears. There's a few that are here in the cog just above. We've got some in the whites of her eyes just to make them stand out a little bit more. Also in the monocle of the owl, how cute, and his eye and the little chain there. So you can see it's just accenting things on his little feet as well, probably to separate them from the color of her hand so that it doesn't blend too much. And there's some in her tattoo as well. So just that little sprinkling of the highlights, I think it's really gonna make this stand out and it's gonna look fantastic. So let me know down in the comment section if you got this painting over the weekend or if you intend to get it in the future. And I will go get our next painting to show you. Perfect. Next up, I actually have a Christmas present that's designated for one of my best friends. And so, Bully, if you're watching this, please stop watching right now. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it for you. This is a beautiful diamond painting that came out in Cheryl Burke's collection and it is called Healing. Uh, my friend is a healer and you know, you could think what you want about that, but that's fine. Anyway, she's obsessed with angels and I just knew that this would be right up her alley. She needs this in her life. And of course, you might already know if you follow Diamond Art Club about this painting. It is a beautiful round drill diamond painting. It is by Sharon Cummings and it's this gorgeous rainbow colored partial diamond painting, meaning that the whole canvas isn't drilled, just the color, which is great because the next painting that you see me on box, there's a lot of one color. So here we go. What's in our box? There is a toolkit stuck in there. So this has the same exact stuff that the last one had. So I won't go into detail on that. It also has the sticker for the side of the box and it has the legend. And on this canvas, we have 39 colors. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Just beautiful. I can't wait. Okay, let's, let's look. So uh, I know that she's going to love this so much and I'm debating whether or not I should give it to her as the kit or if I should do it for her. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it looks so good. I think she would actually appreciate doing it herself. because it's not that big, you know? It's not that big. And I think, didn't I say that I wasn't gonna do any more <laughs> Christmas gifts? <laughs> I always go back on what I say when I, when I think of gifts for people. I just can't help myself. I love, I love doing diamond painting as gifts. So let's open her up. Wow, she is so pretty. I love the marbled effect of the colors. I mean, obviously that is from the original art, but I think it's gonna come across so well in this. And you know what's funny is that um, when Cheryl was promoting this launch of her curated collection of diamond paintings, she actually sent one to Joey Fatone <laughs> and he couldn't stop diamond painting. And I was like, yes, Joey, go for it. So just so that you know, <laughs> if any of you are like, from the 90s or whatever like me 
yeah, he diamond paints too, and now he's obsessed, and I'm so happy. <laughs> Welcome to the addiction. <laughs> but anyway, oh, it's just gorgeous. Beautiful colors, very easy for beginners, and it still has a load of color. Um, you know, whether or not you're religious or not, this is still a, a gorgeous painting. I, I still think it's fantastic. So we've got just one legend this time on this side. Um, I think that might be because it is, it has such a light background and it's not very big. Um, but I don't know. I'm just guessing. We've got an instruction kit and we've got all of the drills in here. Of course it has healing on it. And how many ABs do we have? There are two AB diamonds. So let's have a look at these drills. And I'll have links I'll have links to the paintings down below. If they're not in stock, you can sign up for an email alert when they are back in stock. Actually, one second, let me bring in like I did before. Perfect. That's a little bit easier for you to see. 996 and 141, just like the last time, it's that white, pretty, kind of unicorn skinned, uh, topped diamond painting, uh, drills, sorry, 796. 3846, 995, 3843, all these beautiful blues. 3845, 820, 321, 782. Ooh, 133. Look at that. It's an orange AB. And it casts like a yellow, green, purple. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. And basically, what it'll do is it'll mirror the light that shines off this, bounces off of other diamonds, and it reflects that light too. And it's going to look fantastic. So pretty. We've also got lots of more packs of smaller amounts. So 728, 677, 666. <laughs> the reason I do that is because Mrs. Coffee does it all the time and I love her. <laughs> and I feel similarly. It is not, I am not a Satanist. <laughs> 775, 814, 954, 780, 3371, 702, pretty. I love that green. So fresh. 498, 991. Ooh, that's lovely. That reminds me of like a rainforest. 700, 993, 740. Tis the season, folks. September 1st is tomorrow. <laughs> 699, 992, 758. 550. Nice. And 743. Perfect. Let me put these away and I'll be back to show you where those D, those AB drills go. Okay. So if we look at the canvas up here in the corner, it says 133 and 141 are our two AB drill colors. And I know that because they're under 150 and Diamond Art Club only uses 150 to is it 3860 or yeah 3865 is the highest number at the moment I think um, so they use numbers under 150 even though the DMC range they do have new colors and they are numbers 1 through 30 33 can't remember anyway doesn't matter anything that's under 150 on DAC for the moment is an AB drill so we have numbers 1 and 2 and number one is the orange and it's just sprinkled here in the orange areas there's only one other orange color that I can see so anywhere that you see the orange there that's all AB that's gorgeous very pretty number two is the white and that is what's outlining all the wings <gasps> so all the feathers and the wings anywhere else no just the outlines of the feathers. So those white lines you see here and these kind of, you know, feathery shapes, that's all white AB. 
that's gonna look stunning oh my goodness yes 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 I am happy that I got this I know she's gonna love it so I'm going to package it back up and I am going to let her do it herself <laughs> I think she'll appreciate it more but I hope that she didn't watch the video because otherwise <laughs> I think I'm safe enough I think I'm safe enough but we'll see anyway if you did see it booby then whatever <laughs> oh well I'll be right back I'll get the other one last one folks and it's a little one so I saw this on the site and I just couldn't help myself when Diamond Art Club does pre-orders they do these um they do these restock days of pre-orders. So basically what that means is that you go to the site and you order in advance. They get that many and they have them brought over from the factory and then they ship it out from their warehouse. Now, in order to make the shipping make sense for me, since I live overseas, I have to purchase about $75 worth at a time in order to get free shipping which is fantastic because it used to be 150 and I would have gladly have paid that much as well <laughs> to get free shipping. I'm that person. Uh, admittedly, I am that person. But anyway, um, the shipping costs did go down, by the way. So if you're an international customer and you haven't purchased in a while, have a look because it went, for me, it went from 26 euros to 1170. So that's huge. That's That's a big, big difference. Um, so they're working on it. They've, they've gotten much better, uh, as far as the prices go. So, you know, have a look anyway. Anyway, my point being is that if I can get two and get free shipping, I'll do it. So I got yin yang wolves, which is a Jojo's art. This has been something that I've wanted for a really, really long time. It's a snack size for me. This used to be my normal size. Uh, 57 by 42 so a 40 by 50 50 by 40 was something that I really enjoyed um, when I first started diamond painting because it was big enough that it would take over a week but it was small enough that it didn't take months which is my problem now <laughs> anyway that is the picture two beautiful wolves um, I love the symbolism I love I love Jojo's art anyway but it's just lovely gorgeous um same toolkit let's look at this because i have like it's been in my wish list for years you know um and i don't know what was stopping me from from getting it but i just i don't know when i when i went to order healing oops sorry for bumping you there when i went to order healing i just knew that i wanted this so 22 colors Wow, that is a lot of white. I will be living the 5200 life. <laughs> that actually looks really good. I think that the rendering, like honestly, I think it would have looked even better, bigger, but that's a lot of background to do. So if I had a suggestion, it would be because the tiger uh, that Diamond Art Club came out with, the partial black tiger uh that went over so well and it looks so good i think that they should do the same thing with these there's this one the wolves by jojo and there's also dragons and i think he has another one and i'm struggling to remember what that one's called but anyway i will get off of that now um they can do what they want but this is such a beautiful picture and i don't know why it just it reminds me of Luna <laughs> a lot, and I'm not usually the wolf type, but I know that Stephanie, Wolf Pack Diamond Painting, is probably watching this going, do I have that in my stash? I don't know, but <laughs> if you don't, maybe you should. <laughs> it's not big. Um, and for these, I would probably do the outside first and then do focus on the inside. Okay, let's have a look. So it's got the legend on both sides again. I just realized I didn't show you the drill field on any of the paintings, but it's, if you really need a close up, the quality has always been really good for me. I never had trouble with their symbols ever, uh, nor with their, the stickiness of their glue. Their glue is poured glue, so it doesn't, you know, there's no, um, 
adhesive coming up or anything like that. I've never had an issue with that. So I sometimes tend to forget a bit to talk about it just because this is one of my favorite stores to order from. So, ooh, I see an AB I haven't seen in a long time. Looks like we have just one AB color in this painting. Move that over there. And I'll bring it in. So you can see. Ooh, and it's the first one. Nice. 127. That is a beautiful peach color. Just absolutely divine. It's throwing shades of blue, green, and purple. It's hard to see. Ah, uh, rain. <laughs> uh, 310, 823, 154, 30, 33, 3854, 64, excuse me, 3864. Lots of tans. 37, 72, 30, 64, 779, 644, 841, 336, 754, 948, 3860, 838, 758, 3799, 317, 415 and then I have another bag 939 and then one two three four five six seven bags of 5200 now one thing about diamond art club is that they always give more drills than you need and if you don't have enough for whatever reason because of either man or machine they do have a lifetime guarantee so all you need to do is contact their customer service just get in touch with them and say hey i'm working on this diamond painting uh you can pr they'll probably be able to bring up your order real quick and just have a look and send you out some more drills it's really not too bad um whereas with a lot of other companies i have asked for drills and never received them uh, and then had to purchase them separately. But that's never happened to me with DAC. And if you ever need anything, just contact us on our Crafters Anonymous Facebook group, which is supported by Diamond Art Club. You can go to Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray, uh, which is linked in the description box. And you'll be able to uh, to ask questions over there specifically about Diamond Art Club as well, if you wish. But we love to see your works in progress. We love to hear your thoughts. But we are not customer service. We are not. If you do have a problem, please contact the, cus the customer service directly. I totally forgot to tell you about the ABs. So here I am a little while later. <laughs> so the ABs on this one that light peach color are actually all in this wolf here and it extends out the sides. So I'm going to try to show you where they are. Basically, anywhere you see these lines here, all along the cheek, the muzzle, through the eye area here, around the head and the ear, just basically scattered all around here, outlining this beautiful wolf and then also going into the sides. So I'm not sure if you can see those little lines where the symbols are different, but it kind of reminds me of like a, um, a sound wave, do you know? So it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, and that's where, that's where all the ABs are. So that's where you're going to place those. And it's really going to just make it pop, I think. So that's it guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox a few Diamond Art Clubs. Whoa! I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox a few Diamond Art Club paintings for you today. Let me know how you're keeping down below and what you're working on, and I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye!